You are now viewing Prophet H. Walker and True Life Pentecost Church. Those that are viewing and seeking after righteousness, repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the remission of sins, and ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. So let's learn how to develop a mental attitude to know when we walk out that door, we are victorious. Think about saying, where your soul, your foot trap. Did he say he'll make the devil your footstool? pregnancy test the other day and it came out positive so we got another baby on the way and I just said God I called Prophet I said Prophet we got some good news for you we got another baby that's coming and we, I was like well it was a girl boy he was like well it don't matter whatever the Lord give I was like amen and I'm happy with what the Lord gave me if he gave me a girl praise the Lord he gave me a boy praise the Lord too but I just thank God that's another child that could be brought up in holiness and not a child who may take a kind of life to about all what God has done for me. I cannot contain my smile. My heart is so happy. So I sing, I gotta sing of what he's done for me. My Jesus came and set me free. That's why I gotta say. I started thinking about that today, you know, I come out of a church that was a Trinitarian church, and I, I come out of there running, because I knew it was the wrong way, glory to God. Didn't tell the women how to dress, and didn't teach the women how to dress. Didn't teach the men how to dress, glory to God. Didn't teach anything about holiness, glory to God. And I thank God that I ran into the prophet, glory to God. I thank God that I ran into true light, hallelujah. And I've been there ever since, glory to God, and I thank God for it. I just thank God for just, just, just being God all by himself today, hallelujah. And I thank God I learned that a long time ago, that my Jesus Jesus is God, hallelujah, and I thank God for that, hallelujah. Pray my strength in the Lord. Let us receive words from Prophet H. Walker. Now we was going to have a panel tonight, but Spirit was leading us in a different direction. Amen. So when we we'll have the panel tomorrow night, unless the Spirit leads us in another direction. Amen. Praise God. Uh, I want to take just a brief thought from the sixth chapter of Galatians. Now again, church, when God, Spirit, flows with his sweetness and with his joy and with his power. It's time for everybody to get happy. Amen. Amen. Don't let somebody get happy for you. Amen. Don't let nobody get joyful for you. Amen. You, you, you got your own testimony. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Again, we have to, again, come to an understanding that the word of God is paramount. Nothing matters but God's Word. And the Word of God solidifies the kingdom. God's Word is His own quality of character, His own personality. He put it in book form for us to be transcended from carnal into spirituality, from the fleshly you to the spiritual you. So we have to understand that, our brothers and sisters, the Bible is important. It is the only guideline that will lead humanity from earth to glory. Now, in the Galatian letter, 
I just want to pick up from verse 4. But let every man prove his own work, and then shall he have rejoicing in himself alone and not in another. Again, uh, you, can't, you, you can't base your life story on somebody else's testimony. Amen. Hallelujah. You've got to pull this thing yourself. Yes. Oh, glory. Amen. you got to find God for yourself. Amen. I recall, amen, the blind man when he came uh, and he called out the name of Jesus, son of David. And when he said, son of David, God walked past, but then he stopped. Amen. He said, bring him to me. Yes. And the disciples came to him and said, be of good courage. He calleth thee. Yes. And the Bible says the blind man threw off his garment and ran to Jesus. He cast out everything of the natural, and he went straight to the Lord of his salvation. So we got to understand how to shed off all of these carnal images that we carry and these burdens of life and learn how to worship God and get caught up in the spirit. It, 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 listen, you got, you got to let the spirit have his way. Hallelujah. I believe the Bible says, quench not the Holy Ghost. Don't quench the spirit. You got to let the spirit have his way. Praise the Lord. Sometimes you just got to kick your shoes off and praise God, start to running and start to shouting and start to stomping. Yeah, yeah. Praise God. Let every man prove his own work. And then shall he have rejoicing in himself alone and not in another. Amen. Uh, glory. That's deep there. Amen. Amen. It's good to see everybody happy, but I got to get happy for myself. Amen. I got to prove my own salvation. Read. For every man shall bear his own burden. Let him that is taught in the word communicate unto him that teacheth in all good things. You've got to share your testimony with those who are in like fashion. Amen. We cannot be comfortable in a false church. Amen. And a false church will not be comfortable in true light. Amen. You can't bring someone out from the world in the worldly church and bring them into holiness and expect them to get comfortable. When they see you shouting and getting happy, they get nervous. Next thing you look around, they're gone. Oh, you've seen this time and time and time again. There's something about the word and something about the spirit of communication. It cannot deal with false churches. It cannot deal with a false way. It can only have a, a rapport with them who are of the same fashion. So when we worship together, we get happy together because we can feel each other's spirit within our own spirit and then we get happy for ourselves. We carry our own responsibility to the cross of Christ. We carry our own burden, hallelujah. And our burden is not heavy. It's a light thing in the sight of the Lord. But nevertheless, it is still a responsibility. Once we understand that we're going through what we're going through with Jesus, hallelujah, and you got to keep your focus on that. If we go through with Christ, everything got to be all right because God ain't never failed and he never will fail in his church. God, hallelujah, is almighty and all powerful. That's why they gave him the name El Shaddai, which means God almighty. Almighty means inclusive. He's mighty inclusively. Praise God. He got all power on earth and in heaven is in his hand. Hallelujah. But in order for us to tap in to that power, we've got to communicate with the spirit and then together worship God in spirit and in truth. So when we learn how, to, I, I just love the spirit that came here tonight. Yeah. And the spirit that was with us today. The spirit that was with us all day. It's going to be with us tomorrow. Hallelujah. Yeah. This is how we get breakthroughs. This is how we get victories. Because we fight the devil together. Hallelujah. And we point our focus on the outside world and not uh, uh, bring a railing against our brothers and our sisters who are of the faith because we love each other. Yeah. Hallelujah. But we don't like the world. Amen. We can't communicate with the world because the world does not understand us. Yeah. And they never will. They Hallelujah. didn't understand Jesus. Yeah. That's why when Pontius Pilate said, Jesus said, I come to bear witness of the truth. And Pilate said, what is true? Sure he couldn't understand where Jesus was coming from. And before Jesus could answer, he walked away. Walk away. Hallelujah. Lord. Brothers and sisters, let's understand that we got a reward coming. Wait a minute, I want to pick up in verse uh, 7. Be not deceived, God is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. Yes. For he that soweth to his flesh shall also of the flesh reap corruption. I've tried to tell you that many times. When you see the sacrifices of many, you have to understand that they're sowing to the spirit and not to the flesh 
because the flesh will tell you, don't do this. Look what you can have if you take this money and do thus and so. Oh, don't tell me the devil won't tell you that. He's bad. He'll whisper and he can whisper pretty strong. But when we make the sacrifice because we are not in the flesh, we are not dominated by a, a carnal atmosphere or a carnal appetite, we look to the hills which come with our strength, and as long as we keep worshiping and making personal sacrifices, God will always be a God to us. God is a spirit, and unless we get ourselves entwined with the spirit, then we can realize, praise the Lord, those blessings that God have manifested for us. And sometimes you got to look at the blessing. Sometimes you can't look at something and say, well, I, I earned this. You ain't earned nothing. Amen. God opened up a door and gave you that blessing. God gave you that job. You didn't, praise God, your education don't mean two cents. I know people, praise God, can outthink. I'll figure, I'll maneuver Bill uh, Gates, but they ain't got a quarter, and Bill Gates is a multi-billionaire. I'm just trying to tell you, brothers and sisters, it's not about your might. It's not about your power. It's about the power of God to rest in you. And if I got the power of Christ, praise God, I can tell the devil, get out of my way, because I'm coming through here. I'm coming through here. I know I got the victory. Praise God, because I know whom I serve. And God ain't going to fail his church. God will not fail his people. You got to understand, God will not let you down. As long as you hold him up. Praise God. So let's learn how to press toward the mark of the high calling. And understand we cannot communicate this with everybody. Because everybody's not going to understand where we're coming from. We are not like the world. And we're not trying to be like the world. Hallelujah. He that soars to the flesh. For he that soars to the flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption, but he that soars to the spirit shall of the spirit reap life everlasting. Now watch. And let us not be weary in well doing, for in due season we shall reap if we faint not. Yeah, wait, there's a big if there. Amen. We'll receive a reward if we don't get tired. Yes. Brothers and sisters, don't never think about quitting. Yes. Stay in the holiness church. Stay on board with Jesus. I don't care how the storm rages. Don't you know Jesus is still on board? And when the storm came up and God in the personality form was on that ship and they went and, and, and woke him up and Jesus rebuked him for being afraid. Amen. He has not given you the spirit of fear. I don't care what it looked like. I don't care. Praise God. The waves can be way above, praise Lord, the mass of the ship. It don't make no difference because God will not let the storm overcome you. We are in a storm right now, but the storm cannot rage for so long. And the storm ain't doing nothing but proving your faith. Where are you coming from? Do you fear? Do you, do you not believe that God is your all in all? Do you not believe that God can rebuke that storm in your life? Do you not? You got to learn how to believe. And we got to look past the natural circumstances that confront us. Because once you start focusing in on natural and logic and rationale, once you start looking at a natural problem, you will never overcome that situation because it takes God and God is the spirit and you got to pray to God by the spirit and then the spirit moves obstacles out of your way when you are in tune with God. But if you're not in tune with God through faith principle, then you can't see a mountain move. The mountain will never move. The problem will never be solved. But once I know God's going to solve it, praise the Lord. He ain't got, maybe he didn't solve it today. Maybe he won't solve it tomorrow, but he got to solve it because he said so. And it's impossible for God to tell a lie. Yes. All I got to do is make up my mind. I will not let the devil deceive me. The devil can't tell me this thing ain't real. Do you know, brothers and sisters, they're trying their best. Watch preachers now when they preach. See if they have a Bible. You notice more and more they don't have a Bible. Every now and then, they'll quote a scripture. Why is this? Because the Bible conflicts with what they're teaching. The Bible conflicts with their form of theology. See, see, when they start defending sodomites and lesbians, when they start uh, defending baby murder, 
you conflict it with the word of God. That's right. So therefore, they kind of ease the Bible out the way because the Bible will make them a liar. Yes. And they don't want to be proved a liar. So they know that most people watching on television ain't even got a Bible. Uh -huh. So they start expounding what they want to expound. Amen. But we hold steadfast to the word of truth. Amen. Jesus is the word of truth. And Jesus is in us. And we're not going to fail Jesus. Hallelujah. We're marching to Atlanta. Hallelujah. With the word of God. Don't you know, when God looks down and sees one church, one small church, a drop in an ocean of unbelief, don't you know God gets happy and the angels rejoice because God said he'll always have somebody that will bear witness of the truth. And we go there with the truth, all we got to do is keep marching forward. Don't look at the obstacles because the devil's going to bring all kinds of obstacles. But don't look at the obstacles. Look at the author and finisher of our faith. Right. Look to the hills Amen. which cometh our hill. Lord. David was in more problems than any human being could ever be in. But David would always go to God. The Lord is my shepherd. Amen. I shall not fear. What can the devil do to me when I got God on my side? What can the devil do to me when I'm the one who's representing the truth in this evil time? What can the devil do? He can't do nothing but get out of my way and be quick about it. Hallelujah. Hey, praise God. Did not Jesus walk up to the tomb of Lazarus and Lazarus were dead? Did not Jesus walk up and command Lazarus to come forth in a day and time? Now, this was before the resurrection. Keep in mind, the devil had power over the dead. Yeah. It took the death, burial, and resurrection for God to take the power back over the dead or to redeem. Yeah. But when, when Jesus walked up to the dead man, Lazarus, and commanded him to come forth, the devil had to turn him loose. Right. Yeah. He didn't want to turn him loose. Now, uh, Mary and Martha probably cried, and they may have prayed the prayer of faith. But they didn't have that power that God had. So when God told them to come forth, the devil told them demons said, get out the way now. Amen. Somebody somebody said, turn him loose. Amen. And uh, spoke with authority. Hallelujah. Get out the way. <laughs> what? Yeah, get out the way. Amen. And they turned Lazarus loose, and Lazarus came forth. Amen. And what did he say? Loose him. Yeah. Take them dead clothes off him, because he ain't dead. Hallelujah. When God tells you you're not dead, why don't you wake up? Why don't you stand up? Why don't you take you some strength? If God tells you to stand up, stand up. Hallelujah. Oh, praise God. Daniel was in a trance, praise the Lord. An angel came and touched him. He said, Daniel, a man highly favored with God. Why are you still laying down there? Get up on your feet and stand up like a man. Hallelujah. Yes. Lord, yes. Daniel couldn't quite get a hold of himself, so the angel reached down and grabbed by the hand and lifted him up to him. When he saw he could stand, I imagine he started shouting. I imagine he started running. Church, you got to get up. You got to stand up now and straighten up your back. Who, praise God, who do you think you are? You're the sheep of God's flock. Stand up and be counted. Praise the Lord. And don't hold your head down. If you ain't got no money, Stand up straight. Yeah. You got Jesus on your side. Yeah. Worry about that job situation. Yeah. No, they don't like you in your head cover. Praise God. But stand up straight. Yeah. You got Jesus fighting for you. Yeah. And when that foreman get too far yeah. out of his zone, yeah. hallelujah, and steps into the zone of God, yeah. God knows exactly what to do. Yeah. He'll move that foreman, ease him out the way, yeah. and you're still going forward in Jesus' name. Yeah. Oh, hallelujah. We don't have nothing to fear. Someone said a long time ago, yeah. but fear itself. Amen. Amen. So let's learn how to develop a mental attitude to know when we walk out that door, we are victorious. Yeah. Yeah. Did the Bible say, where your soul and your foot trap? Yeah. Yeah. Did he say he'll make the devil your footstool? Yeah. Footstool where you rest your feet. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Praise God, you Lord. Yeah.
We shall reap if we faint not. And don't get weary in well-doing. Church, there are great things God has planned for true light. We've been through some storms. And because of faithfulness, God has always brought us through. Has he not? Won't he bring us through tomorrow? Won't he bring us through Tuesday? Won't he bring us through next week, next month, next year, until the trump of God sounds? And the dead in Christ shall rise first. And we who are yet alive, caught up in the air, there to be with the Lord forever. Yeah. Hallelujah. Lord. And forever is a long time. Amen. Forever don't have no boundary. There's no circumference. It's like you take a circle, a perfect circle. Where's the beginning and where's the end? Amen. You can't find it. Why? Because it's perfected. Hallelujah. It don't have a beginning. And it don't have an end. We are the church of God. And we got to start acting like that. Uh, praise God that these words find the way. Amen. Love Talk Radio.